how to make a thumbnail in Photopea. In this tutorial we are going to be creating a thumbnail based on Embat. Here is a small preview of the thumbnail. All the accessories used in this this tutorial will be available via a Google Drive or Mega Link at the description or comments sections below. With that said and done, let's start the tutorial. First start by opening your browser and search for Getty Images on whatever search engine that you are using. Hey Josh, right? Click on the official website and search for Embat. Click on the Filters tab and choose the newest option so as to get the latest images of Kylie and Mbappe. Pick the image that suits you best and matches your interests. Right-click on the image that suits you best and save the image to the folder you want in your operating system. Let's search for background remover. You can try any of the websites offered but for this tutorial we will use Slazer. Upload the image and download the already cut PNG image. With that done, we can now start making the thumbnail by using Photopea. Search for Photopea and click on the official website. The resolution suitable for thumbnails is normally 1280x720. Let's open and place the image that we recently downloaded from Getty Images. Align the image nicely and in a suitable manner. Use the marquee tool to section a segment of the picture. Copy and paste that section of the picture so as to create a new layer. Press shift while moving the transform tool so as to enable the stretching effect. Align the cutout image with the original picture. Once you are done, imply some color adjustments such as brightness, contrast, and vibrance to enhance the thumbnail. Yeah, I hate all of the social interactions. I don't want a hooker that don't bring me satisfaction. I, I want love, not a one day attraction. I don't want to fuck you, that should be a caption. Yeah, these bitches addicts, they addicted to the day. I stay colder than a paddock, cause these parties make me sick. I don't really want to come and slide, it's not for me. Go and get yourself a girl like mine, a Kaylee B. Another party where I'm sitting in the corner. Yeah, my life a movie. 
We should really hit up Warner See my bag three minutes, I'm on her Niggas do the same with a stranger, no sir Maybe insecurity's the reason I don't open up Maybe my anxiety's the reason I won't sober up Said hi, I'm Austin, her legs then opened up You must be joshing, these girls don't give a fuck Yeah, I hate all of this social interaction I don't wanna hook up, that don't bring me satisfaction I, I want love, not a one-day attraction I don't wanna fuck you, that should be a caption Yeah, these bitches addicts, they addicted to the dick I stay colder than a paddock, cause these parties make me sick I don't really wanna come and slide, it's not for me Go and get yourself a girl like mine, okay? There's way more than sex, I doubt that you know You could pick up on your skill or you could learn how to sew I know your mom was calling, you should really pick up the phone All of these niggas dog. in the end they just wanna bone You know that nigga really want you for your body He gon' fuck first, won't call you by pro Then you say it, man, that shit right That shit's just beyond me, and you fallin' for the next guy the dick, After the enhancements, we will move on to the texts I don't think that shit will For this tutorial we will keep it simple and only input two texts, which are the name and the year. I want love, not a one day attraction I don't wanna fuck you, that should be a caption Yeah, these bitches addicts, they addicted to the dick I stay colder than a paddock cause these parties make me sick I don't really wanna come and slide, it's not for me Go and get yourself a girl like mine, Kelly B For the name, we will input Mbapp to represent the player For the year, we will input 2023 to represent the season Let's double click the text layer to bring up the blending options tab. We are going to add a few effects to the title such as a drop shadow to somehow enhance the text. You are free to play around with these effects so as to much your liking. Soldiers on deploy, gun tall and steel. Glizzy to your heart, show them how it feels. Let's try adding an outer glow effect to the cutout player image. There's no specific settings to bring out the glow effect, hence you are free to play around with the settings. Let's add some overlays to make the thumbnail pop. Search for particles overlay and download whatever image that suits your interest by saving it to a folder. Because it's an overlay. It will be blended via the blend mode that suits most so as to enhance the image. Max Flynn. 
DJ, you made this? I would like to thank Nathan Edits for suggesting this tutorial. Among his suggestions was a tutorial on how to add tags to YouTube video. Hence, I decided to create a small and quick tutorial on how to add tags to your video. Start by opening YouTube Studio and checking the video details of your video. For this part of the tutorial, you are going to need VidiQ which is free on the Chrome store. This part mainly involves copying tags from various other YouTubers who have created a similar video to yours. For this tutorial, it's best if I copy from one of my videos so as to enhance safety and security. So just copy the tags of any video of your choice and paste it in the tags section of your video details. If that doesn't suit you best, you can try highlighting the keywords of your video title. In the tags section, write down the keywords of your video title. VidiQ is very important especially in the tags sector as it helps you identify how your tags range with the title and description keyword. This isn't a sponsor or anything of the sort, but I would highly suggest if you download it, 